Hello everybody, Joey the Truth Wagner with you, friends. Welcome into the Truth Serum yet again, everybody. And uh, it's hard to believe, but we're at that time. Three words and three happy words coming out of my mouth. Football is back. And with football being back, everybody, it means that it's time for me to go through my week one NFL picks with the pigskin pick'em. I am just picking the winners. I'm not going by the spread. I'm just picking the winner because that's all that matters is winning. But friends, if you haven't yet, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, like the video. And if you're brand new to the channel, would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel as well because I'll be coming out with these videos for the picks every week of this NFL season. And I'll also have a ton of live streams up for the, for the NFL season. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. But let's get started, everybody. Opening night, the Thursday game, the Kansas City Chiefs playing with some fans, with some fans uh, in their building as they take on the Houston Texans. The energy is going to be in the building, everybody. Chiefs are going to be fired up watching that Super Bowl banner get put in the place. And uh, the last time these two teams played, uh, Bill O'Brien, Bill O'Brien himself, he was up 24 nothing and blew it. And when you have Patrick Mahomes on the other end, I'm not trusting Bill O'Brien at all. Deshaun Watson is great. Mahomes is even better. The Chiefs start their defending of their championship with a victory. Now to the Sunday games, everybody. And everybody, by the way, I will be on the call for Houston, Kansas City, by the way. Next up, Seahawks and Falcons. Uh, everybody, Atlanta, they're a tough team to read. They're a tough team to read. They really are because you look and they have really good talent, especially on the offensive side of the football. Matt Ryan, a quarterback, solid O-line. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, a wide receiver. And now Todd Gurley at the running back position. So you look at Atlanta, you look at their roster, and you're like, they should be good. But the last year plus, they haven't been. And everybody, Seattle, their roster, other than Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner, at times can be mediocre. But I know what I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna get out of Russell Wilson. Game's gonna be close, and more times than not, he's gonna pull out the win. Atlanta they are a team that's better on paper than in real life. I'm going to go with the trustworthy future Hall of Fame quarterback in Russell Wilson. Seattle wins. Next one, Jets in Buffalo. This one just seems like an ugly game to watch. The Jets offense, not that great. They're trying to overhaul their O-line and fix it, but there was no preseason so how much time did they really get to work together? Not much. And Buffalo snuck into the playoffs last year. And the first time that the target is on them. But everybody, the, the Bills defense is a really good defense. Bills defense is going to cause havoc on the Jets. And I think Josh Allen is going to get some chemistry with his new number one right wide receiver, Stephon Diggs. The Bills win. Next up, Chicago Bears and Detroit Lions. Everybody, this game right now is really difficult to pick because we don't even know who the Bears' starting quarterback is. Is it Trubisky or is it Nick Foles? That I don't know yet. And we don't know yet either. But the Bears have a really good defense, led by Khalil Mack. The Bears defensively are consistent. It's, what are they going to get on the offensive side of the football? With Detroit, they get their star quarterback in action, returning. Matt Stafford missed a lot of last year with injury. He's back. He's healthy. And everybody, in the, in the NFL, most of it is, who's your quarterback? Detroit, I know they have one. And Stafford is above average. Trubisky is definitely below average. And Nick Foles, unless it's, you know, uh, 
a full moon, he's average. I'll go with the Lions. Next up, Browns Ravens. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. As everyone, last year Cleveland gave Baltimore one of their two losses during the regular season. But the Ravens are stacked. The Ravens are stacked. I don't see a weakness on the Ravens team. I think they're great all over the place. Cleveland, they did lose their starting safety out for the year. Grant, Grant Delpit, the rookie out of LSU. They've had some injuries in their secondary during training camp. Everyone, the Ravens are one of the class class teams of the AFC, and they're going to keep it going. A W in week one. Next up here, everyone, Packers-Vikings. It's always close between these two teams. It is. It's always close. The Vikings, a really sneaky good move getting the pass rusher from Jacksonville in the trade. Let's see, everybody. This is a 1 p.m. game. So, for the Vikings, that's a good thing because uh, Kirk Cousins is great in 1 p.m. games. He's not going to have the primetime blues. But Green Bay does have Aaron Rodgers. And Devontae Adams is a solid one. Aaron Jones is a solid, solid number one running back. From what I've read... The young wide receiver Scantlings had a great training camp for Green Bay to give them a second target. And the Packers' defense was decent last year. And with the Vikings, they've had some difficulties with Dalvin Cook and the contract. I'm going to go with known goods, and that's Aaron Rodgers. Green Bay with the road win. Next up, Colts and Jaguars. Colts, Jaguars are tanking. Next, ooh, Raiders in Carolina. Hmm, hmm, hmm. First game is the Las Vegas Raiders, everybody. Carolina, new head coach. Entirely new defense, new quarterback. Raiders at least have Gruden and Derek Carr again this year. Everybody, with the lack of preseason games, having the same coach and the same quarterback and the same offense is going to be valuable. And I think the Raiders are sneaky good. They win by a field goal. Next up, Miami and New England. I'll come back to this one. Next up, Eagles and the Redskins. Whoops, I'm sorry, not the Redskins. Sorry about that, folks. Just add that to the blooper reel. This will be like the first of like 8 million times I do that this year. The Eagles and the Washington football team. I can't pick a team that doesn't even have a nickname. And they're not very good. Great story with Alex Smith coming back. Great story with that. But the Eagles are by far the better football team. Eagles win. Next up, Chargers, Bengals, NFL debut for Joe Burrow, and he has to go against the Charger defense. He has to go against Joey Bosa and Ingram. Joe Burrow is going to run for his life. Going to turn the ball over. Tyrod Taylor's not. L.A. wins on the road. Next up, Bucks and Saints. Whoo! 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 Baby, is this going to be a great game. And this is one I can't wait to call. Buccaneer debut for Tom. Facing off against Drew Brees. Everyone, I think that Tampa Bay, they're going to be really good this year. I think it's going to take them a couple weeks to get used to everything. Tom, to get chemistry with the receivers. And for them to get comfortable. This will be a really good game. But I'm going to the Saints. Superdome. And they have better team chemistry than Tampa. Next up, 49ers and the Cardinals. Everybody, Arizona, they're going to be decent this year. Whether it's good enough to make the playoffs, I doubt it, but they're going to take a step forward from their five-win season last year. And everybody, in both games last year, Arizona played San Francisco tough in both games and lost. 
I think that same pattern repeats itself. Niners win. Next up, Cowboys and the Rams on Sunday Night Football. This one, everybody, is intriguing. Because Dallas, Dallas has a 13-win offense. They do. Great O-line. Zeke. Dak. Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup. They got C.D. Lamb to be their number three receiver. Got him in the first round. They have a 13-win offense. Their defense, I don't even know if it's a five-win defense. I really don't. The, the only way Dallas is going to win is if their offense puts up tons of points early and often. The Rams, they're trying to get back to what they do best. Run the football and let Aaron Donald wreak havoc. And everyone, the Rams are motivated. First game in the new stadium. And I'll go with the upset here. I'm going to go with the Rams. As the Cowboys can't stop them on defense. Next up, everybody. The game I will be calling. Monday Night Football. Come on, Steelers Nation. You better be in my stream for this one. Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Giants. Steelers have a great defense, top three defense. Daniel Jones is not going to have a good night. I don't see it. If Daniel Jones doesn't turn the football over at minimum once or twice, I'll be highly shocked. Then it's his return. How will he play? Will there be rust? I don't know. James Conner, can he stay healthy? I hope. But everybody, from looking at this, the Steelers have the better team. I think the Steelers with Mason Rudolph or Duck Hodges could beat the Giants. So with having Big Ben back, they're going to beat the Giants. And last one, everyone. The second Monday night game, Titans and the Broncos. Everybody, don't count out Denver. The game is in Denver, and some goofy things happen in Denver week one. Really does. Goofy things happen in Denver. They're used to the altitude. Their opponents aren't. And everyone, Denver looks like a fun football team this year. Drew Locke has a bunch of new weapons. Got the wide receiver Hamler out of Penn State. I love the pick for them. Jerry Judy, Mr. Reliable, got him to go along with Sutton. They got Melvin Gordon to team up with uh, the running back, the undrafted running back, Lindsey. And they got Vaughn Miller. And Bradley Chubb to uh, go after your quarterback. I see here that everyone's leaning Tennessee, but I'm leaning Denver. I'm going to lean Denver. And back up to the game that I skipped, and I'll come back to Miami and New England. This one is interesting, everybody. Cam is the starting quarterback for New England. A ton of their guys opted out. A ton of their guys opted out. So the talent for New England is lacking, but they have Belichick, and Belichick is coaching against one of his protégés and Brian Flores in Miami. This is going to be an, an ugly slop fest here, because Bill can always coach up a good defense. I'll go with New England by a point, maybe? Yeah, I'll go with New England. And now, everybody, the tiebreaker score here. Steelers and the Giants. I think the Giants will have some success. Say 16 points for them. I think the Steelers get one defensive touchdown. So I'll say 27. 27-16 Pittsburgh. There it is, everybody. All of my picks from top to bottom for week number one of the NFL season. And again, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this. If you haven't yet, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel. And if you think my picks are great, awesome. Let me know down in the comment section. If you think that I've gone Looney Tunes, let me know as well. Comment. Comment on that too, everyone. I want to see and read what you think of, of these picks for week one. But everybody, we're getting close. Gotta hold out a little bit longer when we got the NFL back from the Truth Serum. Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Have a wonderful day.